Hey everybody, this is Dr. Michael Shear coming to you with this amazing technique video, something I know I've been working on for some time. In this video, I am thrilled to go ahead and release a clinical technique to facilitate intraoral scanning of your edentulous ridges, something I call the locator bounce technique. Utilizing very creative, just simple workflows as you're actively scanning a patient we're going to go ahead and demonstrate a really straightforward and predictable technique of capturing an edentulous patient with locator abutments in place. I know over the years I've heard and seen it firsthand. Scanning an edentulous patient is tricky. The soft tissue moves, the patient doesn't hold still, the tongue bobs and weaves. Sometimes patients are just like, hold on doc. Okay, yeah. It's the patient that makes scanning an edentulous ridge, especially an edentulous mandible, tricky. Over the years, we've gotten ahead and gotten to the point where it's pretty straightforward to scan a maxillary arch, but a little bit harder to scan a mandibular arch. Why is that? Well, a maxillary arch, the hard palate holds nice and steady. It allows the optical scanner to track and to lock in on palatal rugae, edentulous ridge tissues very predictably. Versus on the mandible, it may work very straightforward on some patients with big ridges, but in some patients that have really movable ridges, it's very difficult to scan an edentulous ridge. So there's been some incredible work out there from 3Shape, from Medit, from all of our other partners as well that have gone ahead and worked on these different workflows. Dr. LaRusso's got an incredible technique. Dr. Kukuchka's got some incredible techniques as well for scanning uh, an edentulous patient. In this video, I want to introduce just a very simple technique of utilizing your locator abutments to streamline an edentulous scan. Part of that is facilitated by having little scan body markers on the edentulous mandible. Because let's think about it. Why is the maxilla easier to scan than the mandible? It's because we've got non-movable tissues on the palate versus on the mandible, sometimes the tissues are movable. By introducing a matte finish coded scan body allows my scanner as it approaches the edentulous ridge to track the edentulous ridge really predictably. And then on top of that, the scan body geometry allows my laboratory to simply create an ideal recess for doing a chair side pickup procedure. In this technique video, I'm going to go ahead and show you the locator bounce technique because it's so simple. When you understand how it works, you'll be able to implement it right away in your clinical practice. Let's jump right in. So the first step is, is we're going to go ahead and open up a new case file for our patient. And we'll go ahead and just open up a Zest patient here. And I've got my patient here. We'll go ahead and create new case. And I'm just going to go ahead and choose my own internal laboratory. And then for this particular workflow, what we're going to do is just use either status scan or scan only, just depending upon what version of TRIOS you have. I'm going to select the date, just arbitrarily selecting the date and clicking on the scan function to go ahead and open up my TRIOS intraoral scanner page. First thing I like to do is go ahead and click on tools and I'm going to turn AI scan off. Then I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I'm on intraoral scanning or you can use intraoral edentulous scanning. Either way works as well. Sometimes even what I'll do is I'll use model scanning in the mouth. Shh, don't tell too many people I do that, but I'm going to stick with intraoral scanning and click on close. I'm going to take my simulated patient here and then we're going to demonstrate on the simulated patient and then I'll show you how I actually scan that live patient I showed you a moment ago. I'm going to go ahead and pop on my locator scan bodies. They don't necessarily need to go on any particular orientation. When I pop that onto the edentulous ridge, I'm just going to make sure that they're seated down all the way when I'm ready to go ahead and scan. Now at this point, I'm going to grab out my intraoral scanner and I'm going to start by scanning the edentulous ridge. Really, I can start on one side or the other. Typically, I like to start on the patient's right because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my finger and hold here against the cheek and I'm going to ask for my dental assistant to hold a mouth mirror and hold the tongue back right through here. Now, when I start to scan, I'm going to go ahead and just simply demonstrate by scanning away from the edentulous ridge, picking up only those actual locator scan bodies. And I'm going to slide back, staying on the edentulous ridge. Coming back to the posterior, here's where the bounce occurs. 
If I get lost, I'm going to keep my eye on this screen right over in here. As I'm sliding across, I'm going to bounce and bounce, picking up those soft tissues as I'm going across. Now, say the patient moves the tongue. I pull away for a second. Then I go back in and I just get that shadow to start appearing right on top of my locator abutments and then swing that around, hovering, bouncing back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Any area that's in the pink portion of the screen is capturing. Any area that's kind of like this darkish portion is not capturing. So right now I'm only capturing and tracking on the scan body geometry. Having that coded scan body geometry is going to facilitate this and make it really straightforward. So now as I come across and I come to the anterior ridge, I'm like, you know what? I need to move my hands in different positions. No problem. I come back to that portion of the scan right there. And now I swing across, picking up just that little tiny edentulous ridge and swinging across, bouncing down, bouncing back, bouncing down and bouncing back, bouncing down, swing across and bounce. Finally, coming back, if I need to take a pause, the patient moved, no problem. I'm just going to scan just those scan bodies. And sometimes the enemy of good is perfection or better. So with your scan bodies, with the locator system, you just got to get really close. Try to pick up as much of that anatomy as possible and then bounce around. So then that way I capture as much of that soft tissue as possible. Turning off my scanner, now I can see here I've captured the edentulous ridge sufficiently. Once I captured the edentulous ridge as shown right in here, you can see that yeah, I'm working on a model. But let's go through an actual patient here. So you can see here as I was taking my intraoral scanner, it's really straightforward. All I'm doing is changing the optical position of the scanner as I'm moving around. So I'm going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Tracking, when I notice, I look at the patient, I can tell the patient's going to be Moving like this, no problem, I back away and then I go back down. If I notice I'm picking up a little bit of a tongue in the screen, back away, go back down. Some intraoral scanners allow you to go ahead and use a slider to, to change your optical length. Perfect. If you can do that on the fly, more power to you. I know I can't. What it helps though is, is I simply back my hand away, go back in. Back my hand away, go back in and I bounce. The locator bounce makes this procedure really pretty straightforward. So now I'm going to come back to that patient I showed you before. I'm going to go ahead and skip that. So now coming back to that patient that you saw before, let's go ahead and review the actual scan footage from this patient and you'll see it up front and close on a real patient. Now as I open up the scan on my patient, I'm going to start by scanning here on the lower left. Now notice here I start by holding my scanner away. I'm bouncing out as I slide across the edentulous ridge, as I cross the midline, going over to the patient's right side. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and say, shoot, I started to pick up a little bit of double image there, abort, I go back to the midline, bounce down to pick up some of the vestibular area. And you can see my assistant's mirror holding the tongue back. Anytime that you see me pause in this video, it's because I'm backing out, holding the soft tissues, asking the patient, hey, hold as steady as possible for me as possible as you can. I know we don't want to use the goo. Let's use this pictures only. Now, coming back to the midline, notice how I bounce down, bounce out. Any of the darker areas means I'm not imaging. So as I'm ready, I see the patient opportunity, the patient's holding still, I bounce down into the retromyohyoid space. Oops, I see a tongue there, no big deal. Hold that tongue back, bounce out, bounce back down into the retromyohyoid space, then start to cross the occlusal of the area corresponding to tooth number 18. Swing down and around. The patient's holding cheek retractors. I want that to hold super steady. One continuous motion of the buccal vestibule all the way around. I try to avoid over and under, over and under. It's one sweeping motion, utilizing the locator scan bodies to track the intraoral scan as I come across that midline over to the patient's right side. Now, as I swing back around, notice I'm bouncing out, bouncing down. Oops, don't want to pick up too much extra soft tissue. Bounce out, bounce down. The locator bounce as I bounce in and out. It helps me streamline this edentulous scan as you see here in front of you. 
Now, moving the scanner around, I notice I've got some extraneous soft tissues and I want to pick up a little bit more details of my locator scan body. Hold out, bounce in a little bit, move my scanner around. Notice here that I'm not edentulous or not scanning the borders. Oops, bounce in, bounce out. Hold that scanner away from that scan body. All I want to do is image to pick up better details around the scan body geometry. Being mindful not to pick up too much vestibular soft tissue, bouncing out, bouncing in. As you see here, just a little bit of cutting away of that extraneous soft tissues. Didn't do anything else to the scan. We've got a really nice scan completed on this patient that you see right in front of you. The locator bounce technique is a super predictable way of scanning the edentulous mandible. Wow. All it is is, is simply just going ahead and changing your optical position by moving your hand in and out. The locator bounce technique, a key for simplifying edentulous scans. This is Dr. Michael Shear. I hope this video has been informative as we introduce a new concept uh, in digital techniques for scanning the edentulous patient, featuring locator abutments for your locator overdenture and your locator for